Today on Express, info on the night at the Grizzlies, a local, film major, f local filmmaker that attended SLCC, and of course, movie reviews with Court Castleman. Stay tuned, Express starts now. <music> Welcome to Express, I'm your host, Dustin Vabel. The semester is slowly approaching its end and the holidays are right around the corner. For many, this is the best time of the year, but for some, it can be the most stressful part. These days can be very stressful to some, from getting that paper done and turned in on time, registering for spring, figuring out what to do about Thanksgiving, or just anxious for the holidays. What can we do? Take a break because Salt Lake Community College students, staff, alumni, and employees can hit up the Grizzlies hockey game for a great deal. This Saturday, November 11th from 7 to 10, tickets are available for $8. Just remember to mention you're with SLCC to get your discounted ticket. Support the hockey team and you won't be disappointed. Student Danny Rutherford lets us know if he'll be making it to the game. Yes, I am going. I'm excited to go. I think it's cool that it's only $8 for students. They're a lot of fun. I love going to those games. Make sure you put some fun in your schedule this week and have a blast at the Grizzlies hockey game. For more info, visit calendar.slcc.edu. One of the best parts for many during the upcoming holiday season are the brand new movie releases. Whether it's a Hollywood blockbuster or a local film, plenty of new films are on their way to the big screen. Here's some info on a former SLCC student having the opportunity to work right on a film set. Slick student returns to his hometown of Browning, Montana on the Blackfeet Reservation as director of photography on Kills Last, a film by Lauren Monroe. Uh, my name is Robert Hunter. I am from Browning, Montana and Hawaii, Nevada. My Indian name is uh, Eagle Runner and my government name is Robert Hunter. A talented cinematographer capable yeah. of working in any genre, this project has special meaning for Robert. We haven't had the opportunity to represent ourselves and write and direct movies about ourselves and tell stories from our own point of view. And so as a Native American, when I'm watching a movie about Native Americans, um, the perspective is very, you know, you can always tell whose perspective the film is coming from. Now let's take a look at what's happening around campus. On November 15th, join SLCC for food, fun, and festivities at the grand opening of the new Center for Diversity and Multicultural Affairs at the South City Campus from 11.30 to 1 p.m. On November 16th, the SLCC men's basketball team has their season opener against Lee College at 7 p.m. at the Taylorsville Redwood Campus. On November 17th and 18th, the SLCC Dance Company is presenting the Fall Dance Gathering at 7 p.m. It takes place right here at the Grand Theater. For more info on school events, go to calendar.slcc.edu. Now it's time for mind-blowing movie reviews with Court Castleman. This week, he reviews Thor Ragnarok. Hey everybody, let's talk movies. Today, we're only talking about Marvel's newest addition to the MCU, Thor Ragnarok. When the goddess of death, Hela, arrives in Asgard, Thor's hammer is destroyed and he finds himself banished to a planet where he's forced to fight in gladiatorial battles. He then must join forces with the Hulk, a scavenger, and his villainous brother Loki to escape and save Asgard from this new, increasingly powerful threat. Thor Ragnarok isn't just inspired by Guardians of the Galaxy, it's almost a carbon copy of the film. The oppressing tone of Thor The Dark World has been abandoned for a much lighter tone, sporting self-aware humor and near-constant jokes throughout. The new approach for the Thor series is a welcome change, but ultimately it stands as nothing new to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The good news is that the comedy of Ragnarok is fantastic. The film is consistently hilarious, providing some genuinely great lines, and the cast matches the charm of the screenplay. Chris Hemsworth is especially enjoyable to watch. While his character has been annoyingly inconsistent throughout his storyline, Hemsworth keeps up the enthusiasm and joy that he has provided since day one. When it comes to the action, for the most part, it's fun to watch. Scenes, however, with an excessive amount of CGI are frustratingly difficult to get into. This is because the bulk of the high-quality CGI is shown off during the second half of the film. 
any fight scenes before that just really look bad. Ultimately, Thor Ragnarok is an enjoyable addition to the MCU, but the problem is that it doesn't add anything new. It feels like just another Marvel movie that treads the same ground that Guardians of the Galaxy, Ant-Man, Doctor Strange, and others have already tread. So if you like the comedic direction Disney has taken their Marvel movies, then you'll definitely enjoy their latest edition. I'm giving Thor Ragnarok a 7.5 out of 10. To read reviews that go into more depth, go to slcc.com or check out my YouTube channel, Mind Blowing Industries. For Express, I'm Court Castleman. That's it for this episode of Express. To watch this episode and past episodes of Express, go to youtube.com slash slccsmc or find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at slccsmc. I'm Dustin Vaubel. Thank you for watching. <laughs>